What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How's it going today, guys? Well, the product I want to show you is another case for the iPhone 6, and this is a product that was sent to me free for review from Switch Easy. And today we got the Switch Easy Life Pocket uh, Wallet Style Case. And this is a really nice case. I've actually honestly been using this case for about a little over two weeks now, and uh, I've really enjoyed using it. I, in the past, when I've had to test wallet cases, it's always been kind of a negative experience because I wasn't able to carry uh, all the stuff I needed to carry with it. And then the form itself wasn't always very comfortable or easy to use. But this is probably, so far, from all the cases I've reviewed in the past, probably my favorite wallet style case. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some of the accessibility and we'll talk about the details of this case. So first off, guys, this case retails for $39.99, so basically $40. Bucks. And it's available in a bunch of different colors, or three colors to be exact. So I have the navy one right here. It's also available in a space gray and also a military green as well. So as I mentioned before, it is a wallet-style case, and it says on their site that you can fit six cards in here at one time. And so basically all the pockets that are available, you have one pocket right there that you're able to stick something into. That pocket actually is the same spot that's over here. So this is my driver's license. So when you pop it in through there, that's where the back of it is right there. So you can see through the back. Then we have some uh, credit cards right here in the front. So there's two spots for that. Then we got the flap right here. I got another two cards. It has two separated pockets right there. And I believe that the, uh, so there's two cards are there, and I believe the other, the sixth pocket that it mentions is right here in the back, which is actually, you can see those cards I just showed you. You can probably stick something in there. You can also fit money in there as well. So a lot of really nice openings and places where you can stick cards as well as cash as well. Um, I actually did not keep these two cards in here. I was usually had my, my car insurance was slid up into there, and I would just keep some cash right there as well. And so an, another good thing that they include in here is a strap right here. So this strap is what allows you to make sure that your money or your credit cards don't slip out of the uh, the wallet case, so it keeps it there. I don't like using the strap very much because it's very awkward to take off. So if I'm constantly pulling my phone out of my pocket to check my emails and stuff like that, it gets annoying to have to deal with the strap. But if it's going to be in my pocket for a long period of time, and I want to make sure nothing falls out, then I would pr put the strap on there, and then I'm pretty much good to go. But as you can see, it's a pretty thick case. It doubles the size almost of your iPhone 6. But I've had, an, uh, while using this for about two and a half weeks or so, I haven't once carried my wallet with me, which... That's never actually happened. The other wallet style cases I've reviewed in the past didn't have enough enough spots or openings to be able to carry all the stuff I needed. And if it did have all the spots, it was really, really thick and bulky and just uncomfortable. So I didn't want to bother with not having my wallet with me. With this one, though, I was able to keep my two debit cards and my driver's license in the back. And uh, I was pretty much good to go, and I didn't need anything else. And then I had my insurance card to keep my car insurance in my wallet as well. The one thing I will mention about this back strap is I think, and you can tell right there, it gets a little loose. I think over time after using this, it is so tight that this is bound to get loose and, and be not, not going to hold it as tightly as possible. So over time, this will get worn out. This will get stretched out a little bit, as you can kind of already tell there. It actually goes back to shape and gets pretty tight when you don't use it for a while, like I said, because I don't use it very often. But when I do use it, I do notice that it, gets, it does, does get a little bit stretched out like that. So just one thing to consider, okay? So the material that this is made of is a nylon. It's very durable. It's almost like waterproof. Um, I don't think it's, it's I have a, like I said, I've been using it for two weeks. I have no scratches, no dirt or anything. I think if I did get it dirty, though, it would probably be pretty easy to clean because it is nylon. But it's very durable. There, don't get, I don't want you guys to get confused with this, with the Life Pocket. Uh, there's another Life Pocket version on the website. It's like $5 cheaper. That's made of a different material. So this one right here, the $39.99 one on Switch Easy's website, this is the nylon version, okay? And uh, like I said, it's very nice, very durable. You can slide in and out of the pocket very nicely. And uh, just overall, a really good style case. So let's check out all the accessibility and the buttons and such. So as we get to the side here, you can see that the, uh, the, the mute switch and the volume buttons are completely blocked off with the flap. So you have to open that up. And so when we do open that, we have those switches right there. And so we have a nice large opening for the mute switch, and the volume up and down is being covered up, but you can still click through those very easily. You can still feel that tactile feedback, so those, it's not like you have to press very hard to get the volume buttons to respond. Scroll to the bottom here. Here's one of the issues I did have with this case. So one nice thing is it does cover up the ports, okay? So you have the headphone jack that's plugged up. You have your microphone, which is accessible and open. You have your, your lightning connector, which is plugged up. And then you have the grill for the speaker. So speaker is fine. Microphone's fine. And not, not that there's anything wrong with these things being covered up because it's kind of nice in case it is drizzling or wet or whatever. Make sure there's no dust or anything getting into there. But the, my frustration using this is when I – so I basically when I'm, when I'm putting my dock in, my phone, plugging my phone in, whether I'm driving or in, on the side of my bed in the pitch black of night, trying to plug in my, my lightning connector, it's very awkward and hard to do it without li actually looking at it. So 
it's not a really big issue, but it is something that became an annoyance to me. Like every single night after finishing watching YouTube videos or doing whatever, playing with my phone, when it was time to plug it in and all the lights are off, I had to switch on the light to be able to see what I'm doing because you pop this open and you have to get the angle just right and just it's hard to line up perfectly in there. So that plug get a little bit annoying. Same thing with the headphone plug. You kind of have to like hold it out of the place to plug it in. So in situations when you're like moving around, just want to do it without having to look at it, and you kind of have to pay attention when you're trying to plug it in. Not a big issue, but it's something I did notice while using it. Get to the side here, we have our sleep wake button. It's also bl blocked off. Or, uh, it's also covered up as well, but you can easily click through that, and you can still feel the click while you're using it. Our home button, no issues right there. The camera, nothing blocking off or anything. And there is a very, very, very slight lip on the edge of the case here. So a slight lay on the table design, not by much, though. If you drop this face down, I'm pretty sure it's going to crack the screen or touch the screen. So it's a slight, slight little lip here, as you can see on the edge but it is very minimal, okay? And this actual, this part that's actually holding onto your iPhone is like a, it's like a soft TPU material. So that's what, that's all this is right here. And it's actually like, it feels like it's either stitched or glued into the case itself. And we get to the back, we have our, our camera opening right there. Nice big opening, the flash doesn't bounce off the edge, so there's enough space for everything there, and, and the, the other microphone is fine. You can kind of see the thickness of the case by looking right there, so it's pretty thick. And when you do have it in your hand, you do have the flap closed like this, you cannot take pictures, you have to hold it open to take any kind of photos and things like that. Another good positive thing about the case is it does have a little kick clip design here so you can pop, prop it up like that and watch movies or something like that if you're like on a plane or whatever. You can use it as a little slight kickstand if you want to do that. So that's pretty much it guys. So overall, very, very nice wallet style case. Like I said, this is probably the best number one wallet style case I've ever reviewed um, on my channel. And I've reviewed, I don't know, over 200 cases. I'm not sure how many of those cases were wallet style, but I've, I've reviewed quite a few wallet style ones. And I just think that the overall form factor, it's very nice and compact. It fits six cards, which I don't usually see in wallet cases, and it does so, and just and it keeps it really nice and small. The form factor it does double the size of the phone, but the fact that I don't have to carry my wallet with me while having this phone means I don't have to have something in my in my both pockets. I can just carry my phone and I'm good to go. So I've really enjoyed using it. Like I said, it retails for thirty nine ninety nine on SwitchEasy.com. And I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this product, please post those down below. I read each and every comment on all of my videos, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys uh, if you do have any questions about it. And if you uh, guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my case reviews, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.